What's up guys, welcome to the CLI Essentials today with Tmux. And for those who don't know, Tmux is a terminal multiplexer that enables you to create, access and control multiple terminals within a single window. And I data mined my Zish history and found out that those are the commands that I actually use most in Tmux. And although one could now endlessly masturbate over the individual commands in Tmux, I mean, attach alone has like 14 flags you can pass in, we don't do this here. Because the five commands that you see right here are literally the only ones that I was using since I'm using Tmux. Since the actual application of Tmux comes once it's up and running and then we just use the leader key anyways. And in case you don't know why you would want to use Tmux, let me give you a quick example right here. I connect to my remote machine. I attach to a running Tmux session. And then you see I have a couple of things going on here. I have my Docker containers running. This one just finished the backup. I have some fire management right here. What else do I have? I have a couple of things here and I can just navigate through them. And once I have one window, I can quickly go to the latest window that I opened and back and forth. And this just comes in so extremely handy when you are coding in front end and back end or you're coding in back end and you want to debug in a different window and you can just jump between the windows like a gazelle. This is just so good. And we're gonna explore what it takes to get there in this video. So of course I prepared an article for you and I'm just gonna walk you through the article and as you see there's a leader key section right here and the leader key is control B. And then we're gonna use the leader key all the time to attach to the latest session, to create a new window, etc., etc. So I just, I just walk you through the commands. I move to the terminal, I start a Tmux session like so, boom. Then I create a new window with leader C. And since I don't wanna have Zish two times as a name for the window, what I want to have is a different name for the current window. And I do this with leader, quote, rename window, new window. Some name right here, right? Boom, renamed. I can now navigate those windows with leader W now I get the list of all the sessions that I already have opened and all the windows inside. And I can navigate like so. And if I choose a window like so, and I don't want this window anymore, I can do leader X to kill the pain. Boom, window gone. And there's also a possibility if I open new windows now to go to the latest window with leader L. And then again, this one right here is a session and we can detach from that with leader D. And if we want to reattach to the session, I just go Tmux A, and there we go. Next interesting thing on the list is the Tmux copy mode. And the copy mode lets you navigate and copy console output. And we enter the copy mode with leader square brackets. So I show you like this. First, I provoke some output with L, I list some files. Now I hit leader square bracket, and now we've seen the upper right corner. You, you see you have this little yellow window right here. So now we are in copy mode and I can now just type G and it takes me to the beginning of the console output and I could now with the arrow keys navigate through that and with the right combination of keys that I show you later in one second, copy stuff from the output. That will be the copy mode and we're gonna configure the copy mode to have Vim motions inside in one second. When you check the documentation, you can find that you can also configure the styling of the copy mode. I will not go into that right now. I'm gonna move on to the Tmux configuration. Tmux configuration is done in the Tmux conf file. And first we're gonna configure the styling. And what I'm gonna do is copy this one right here, go to the terminal, open the Tmux conf file, paste this one, and then just explain what I'm doing. So first, this one enables the mouse in your Tmux. And I know we wanna get rid of the mouse, but this one right here is coming in very handy <laughs> when, when trying to copy stuff. But well, those ones are actually not so super interesting. The interesting part for me is the status bar is styling. And as you see right here, I set some pseudo variables for the colors. And then what I'm gonna do is I set the background and foreground for the status bar for this one right here with those colors. And the next thing is, I don't wanna to have to find the asterisk right here to see right away what is my active window. It would be nicer to have a nice little colorful styling to see that. And this is what this command right here is doing, window status current style. This is the current one. And we're gonna just determine background and foreground color to make it more distinct from the others. And eventually this line right here is just gonna get rid of the asterisk right here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna write this one, close it, 
and then reload and source it with tmux source file dot tmux conf. And then what you see right here is that we have the new styling and the active window has inverted colors as we just set it up in the config. I already told you that we're gonna configure the tmux copy mode that vim motions inside. And this is done with this configuration. So first thing we want to use V, small V to highlight stuff. Next thing we want to use capital V to highlight the entire line as we, as we know it from them. And then we want to use Y to yank where we just highlighted instead of enter. So that is it. That is what you're going to do basically all the time with Tmux. I put a little what's next section here inside and you can find my current Tmux config under this link. I say my current Tmux config because I'm learning too. This thing is always changing. So check, check it out from time to time. And yeah, for everything else, just read the docs, watch YouTube. There's plenty, plenty online about Tmux. And yeah, you don't need me to show you all of this. So I think we're good for today. That is it. I wish you all a lovely week. Bye-bye.